Hey friends, thanks for watching another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing, honestly, not a whole lot. Uh, I've got a few PSPs that I've had sitting around for a while, um, and they all just need like very tiny things. Also, they're very dusty. So we'll start off, let's we'll just get straight into it. We'll start off with this one. I've got this PSP 1000 here, very dusty. Uh, it's just missing a joystick cap. So I actually have a couple, I've got replacements here. I finally decided to just order all the little things I need. And I thought, hey, why not just make a little video on installing all of it even though a lot of it is very very small and kind of pointless like this but i thought hey it's my channel my rules so anyways let's get straight into it uh i bought these little joystick caps off ebay i think it was like five bucks if not even like, like three dollars for a pack of two so i'll get one of those and literally all i need to do is just plonk that right there and we're done cool now, I'll give it a clean as well, just because it's making me very sad that it's very dusty. So, wax some isopropyl on there and give it a wipe. This one's actually in pretty good condition. Um, I have a few PSP 1000s. However, the black ones tend to be very prone to scratches, just because they're black. All the piano black stuff from Sony are very, very prone to scratches. That's all I wanted to do to this one. So, turn it on. I had to charge these this morning. They take forever to charge when they're completely dead. PSP batteries do not hold their charge. But yes, look at that. Looks good. And I've got a joystick. Works good as well. So I'll turn that one off. Now let's go straight on to the next one. I've got this PSP 1000 here as well. Uh, same thing. It is so dusty. I am so, so sorry. Um, I like this one because I, I had this little one a while ago as well. I got these at the same time, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this one I decided to take the buttons out and swap them with the black buttons because the white ones were very yellowed. And it just looks really nice. I really like the black on white look. I actually did another one as well with uh, a black shell with the white buttons. And it looks terrible. So that's awesome. Um, you, so you can see this one looks pretty good. Uh, the only issue is, obviously, missing a battery and a battery cover. So I have a battery cover here. I ordered this one as well. It was like $3, something like that. Uh, so that's like another dead simple thing to do. Literally whack that in there. Oh, that doesn't feel as, doesn't feel as good. Oh, uh, no, funny thing is I forgot to buy a battery for this. So I'm actually just going to pinch the battery from this one. Look at that. No one will ever, no one will ever know. So we're going to whack that one in there. I honestly completely over overlooked the fact that I need a battery as well. That's fine though. We can just share a battery for this one. Um. These things can be tricky to put on sometimes, but this is, look at that. Awesome. Turn it on, give it a wipe again. What? No. What? I genuinely did not know this had a cracked screen. It must have fallen off something and broken. This has been sitting in my wardrobe for like almost a year. I don't know how it's, Oh, it's broken. Oh, that breaks my heart. I don't think I have a spare screen. Um, no, I don't. All right, stand by. Let's see if I have a spare screen for this. Okay, so I just went digging and I found this PSP 1000 as well. I've had this in a drawer. Uh, I can't test the screen. So as you can see here, I wrote some notes on it when I got it a while ago. Um, but I think I might have pinched the screen and just swapped it out with a dead one. But I can't see myself swapping it out with a dead one, putting the dead one back in. I don't know, but I cannot test it because it just, as you can see, it turns on. Actually, it's not even turning on anymore. Uh, it used to just turn on. There you go, turn on and then glitch and then turn off. So what I might do is I might quickly go digging and see if I can get this one, see if I can get this screen. I genuinely wasn't expecting to have to do a screen on a PSP 1000. So, okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's just get straight into it. These things are really easy to work on anyway, so... How could that screen have broken? I don't know how that screen could have broken. Because I don't think I've dropped it. I mean, maybe when I had it on my my desk, like, I don't know, about a year ago, it might have fallen off then. But I doubt it. Alright. We're in. Let's go ahead and pinch this screen. Now, I'm pretty sure I've done some restoration videos on PSP 1000s before on this channel. But yeah, uh, I've, so I've probably already mentioned this before, but these things are really easy to work on. Um, you can literally just undo the couple screws on the back, 
pry off this button strip, which is giving me a bit of grief, just like that. Get that out of the way. Then lightly pry in here. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've worked on one of these ones. I've been trying to get into doing a lot more Game Boy videos lately, but I know that some people subscribe to me specifically for the PSP content. And my PlayStation stuff does do better. So I personally like all of it. Um, Game Boys are a lot more simple to work on. If you drop a Game Boy, you're not going to break the screen like you do on a PSP, apparently. There we go. Now, let's repeat on the other PSP and see if it even works. Because I don't think it works. If it does, cool. If not, I'll just have to order another screen and then do another video later on down the line. But rinse, repeat. Let's open this one up too. I should probably take this time to mention, sorry if my audio quality is not the best. I actually don't have an overhead mic set up. That's why I rarely do videos like this. I used to when I first started, but I was just using the mic audio and that's not very good. So for this video anyway, I'm just using, honestly, it's voice memos on my phone. So it, it's better than the camera for sure, but it's probably not the best. So apologies for that. I would like to invest in a overhead mic setup so I can do more of these videos, but we'll just see what happens. All right, that's that screen, busted. This screen, oh, let's, I really hope it's good. Okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, there's no backlight. Why is there no backlight? To be fair, this screen's not in the best condition. Like, that PSP's had some water in it for sure. I find it really strange that this screen obviously did work and now it suddenly isn't. So I was sussing it out. I, was, I peeled back this little thing, was having a look at uh, all those users. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But I know that this is specifically for the backlight. So I looked at that, and if you look really close, I'll try and get really close so you can see. One of the pins is kind of cracked. This is the cracked screen. If you have a look at this bit, on the same spot, it's super shiny, and that pin isn't damaged. So I wonder if I can get the tiniest bit of solder on that to help join that up, if that'll work. My soldering skills are terrible. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to give it a go. So 45 minutes later and some terrible soldering. Um, I was not able to get it to work. All right, I'm gonna whack this back together and we're gonna get straight on to the next one. So next up was my PS Vita. Uh, this was literally the last video I did. I did mention in the video that the joysticks are pretty low quality. However, I was waiting on some rubber joystick caps to arrive. You can see there, they're just tiny, aren't they? They're super, super thin. The joystick caps arrived, finally, so that's cool. It's a multi-pack, so they're all slightly different. Uh, as you can see, like this one, little, like round, round bits. I like that one. What's this one? Little, just four little nibbly bits. I don't know the words for this. I don't like this one. This is like square or some shape. Then we've got little pointy arrows. That's cool. Uh, this one looks like a shower head. That's interesting. And then a little directional. Uh, I'm still not sure. I definitely want this one. And I mean, I kind of, I, I gotta be honest. It does kind of kill my OCD that they're not all the same or like very similar. These two are similar. However, I don't think I like that one. This one, shower head one's all right. Um, I'm definitely keeping that one. These are gone. I don't like them. And that'll go there. This one can, this one? Oh, this one. We'll go this one. I really hope they work for this because I, I think they're designed for the ones that have actual rubber on them so that they fit nice. There we go. Let's get in there. That's it. Nice. All right. Well, now that that's on there, it does feel better, although it moves a little bit. Like that moves, that's got a lot of play in it. Maybe I shouldn't go with this one then, because that'll drive me crazy if that ends up like sideways like that, or like slightly off. Maybe I should go the shower head looking one, because that one kind of can't tell if it's been rotated. So yeah, we're going to go that. We're going to put the shower head one on there. There you go. They feel all right. It, it definitely provides more grip. So let's crank it on and see what it looks like with a game going. Um, I have 
since I made the video, I have gone around and messed with this quite a bit. And I've gotten some... Oh, I'll get rid of those fingerprints, actually. That's disgusting. I've got some games and stuff on here now. I loaded on an N64 emulator, which is really cool. So let's have a look at what Mario Kart looks like on this bad boy. All right, the grips feel pretty good. They, they feel all right. They're nothing special. But no, this feels pretty good. Definitely better than what it was. The, it just felt super flimsy before. Let's turn this off and we'll go straight on to the next thing. This is something that I actually did plan on taking apart. This is a PSP 2000. This is the first PSP I ever got. Um, I bought this in a Sendico order with this and a Game Boy Advance SP. I think it was like $50. And it had a screen in it when I had it. Um, the only thing is, I took the screen out a while ago, like well over a year ago, to put in another PSP because I was planning on selling it. I bought a replacement screen for that PSP. However, it got lost in the mail and it's a whole thing. But anyways, I finally have a new screen. Someone in Australia actually stocks these now, which is cool. So you have to pay a little bit more, but I'm happy to do that because this took a week to arrive. So open this up and boom, look at that. A PSP screen. So I've got to go ahead and put this in um, and it should be sweet. Uh, it has a screen protector on it too which is good because if you remember from my DS Lite video I did, those screens didn't have any screen protector on them and that was crazy. Like why do they not? You have to solder to the screen for that one and it didn't have a screen protector on it so by the time you are ready to install the screen it just is filthy. So this one actually has a screen protector on it which is really good. So let's get straight into tearing this one apart. It's the four screws on the back, one Phillips on the bottom. That's right, now I'm remembering. Like I said, it's been a hot minute since I've worked on one of these. The top is Torx bits. They're two Torx T2 bits, I believe, from memory. Let's have a look. Little mini Torx boys under those ones. And then that's it, then we're in. Perfect. Awesome. Now I got this and I saw this little tab and I never remember having to screw this in, but it looks like it. you don't. It just sits right in that little bit there. I obviously don't have another screen to compare to because this one never had one in it, but yeah, that's wild. All right, so this one you install very similarly to the PS1000. There we go, and before I do anything, let's test this one to make sure this one works. Looks good. That's definitely promising. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Awesome. No, nope, not awesome. What's going on with this tab? That tab isn't supposed to be there, is it? I'm going to chop it off. I'm making the executive decision. I'm getting rid of that tab. because I don't recall there ever being one. If I'm making a bad decision, well, it is too late. Look at that. Well, that's there and that works. And then the one thing I always forget is you gotta make sure that tab on the side sits in nicely. All right, that looks good because it's got a screen in it now, yay. I like this PSP 1000, uh, 2000 because it's my, as I said, it was the first one I ever had, but not just that, I also customized it very slightly. So as you can see, um, the buttons, if you compare these buttons to say one on this 1000 here, you can see they're very slightly smoked. And not only that, uh, also, all the trim around the side is all painted. Uh, it's all blacked out, except for just the charging port and obviously the ring on the back. So what I did there was I took the buttons. I had a bricked PSP 3000. Like, I tried my best to fix it. This is before I had the channel. Uh, and I could not fix it. It just would not come back to life. It would work for a bit, and then it would just glitch out massively. I think it was just a bad custom firmware installation. Anyways, I sold it super cheap. But I stole the buttons from it. Uh, the trigger buttons, because the PSP 3000 has smoked uh, trigger buttons, whereas the 1 and 2 do not. So I whacked it on this bad boy and painted the trim around the outside, and it just looked really nice. Uh, and this is my, the only PSP I had for a good while, so she served me well. And then I went ahead and paid it back by stealing the screen for another one and then sold it. And it's been in this nice, sorry state ever since. All right, let's just get in. Do I have a memory card in it? Oh, look at the background, that's so funny. 
Now you'd think I'd have one of these ones with a macro SD card and like what, 120 gig something SD card in it, but no, I don't. I actually have uh, an original Sony one, uh, 16 gig, which was plenty, honestly. Every time I look at custom firmware stuff, they're like, oh, you should get 132 gigabyte minimum, but 256 is the best. That'll get you there. And I'm like, hey man, how many games do you want? I honestly got by perfectly fine with this 16 gigabyte one. Yep, there we go. Memory card working sweet, I think. There there you go. Look at that. Pro Skater 4, Rugrats in Paris. That was so fun to play as a kid. Spyro, Tomb Raider, and a bunch of legally obtained games, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to get into playing any of those games because I will just sit here for ages playing it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do today. I genuinely am upset about the PSP 1000, the white one, because I, it was never the plan. This was supposed to just be a little battery door swap, and that was it. But the PSP Vita with the little thumbsticks, this thing, that's super dead simple, just plunk, done. And yeah, let's look, look at this. What a good collection, I reckon. Uh, and as you probably know, I have more. But uh, that's enough rambling, honestly. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it the whole way through, what a wild ride this was. I'm definitely going to go order a new screen for this one. I'll make a video on that, just swapping it out real quick. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!